Welcome back. We're going to have a fun day this morning, and we're going to, to get into our imagination of what you can dream up. But we're going to be doing grapes today. But I'm going to show you on the board back here uh, what we were talking about last time. And we'll run through that really fast because we want to roll up our sleeves and get to drawing. Now, I have my pencils all ready. I've got a number two, and then I have three different... Uh, charcoal pencils and I have my eraser ready and I hope that you were all sitting nice and cool and at your table with your pad your your uh, drawing pad and your pencils and maybe some iced tea it's morning or maybe a coffee so we're going to start with let's just take a deep breath take it in close your eyes blow it out we're going to relax this is your half an hour, and we're not going to let anybody into our half an hour because this is your square of time of learning and having fun. Now, remember, you got to practice, practice, practice all this so that you become good, and don't expect your first piece, like today, to be excellent. I don't expect it to be, and I want to hear from you at Jana Columbus for at... <laughs> Oh gosh, I even forget my own, uh, my own, uh, Jenna Columbus for at gmail.com. We forgot the dot com last, one, last time. But I brought, I want to show you what you can do, what you can end up doing in our world of pencil drawing. Uh, let's get the camera on there good, there. Now this is one that I did with my, another art class and they had so much fun doing it and I had fun teaching it and eventually you're going to be doing these kind of things in, for your own home and for your own pleasure and they make wonderful gifts these pencil drawings so we call it graphite I guess is the right word but I'm going to talk in just plain English instead of art talk and uh, so therefore Let's, let's go back to the board over here so that we can run through what you, what, what you learned last week. So I'm going to move around here to my easel, and I'm going to run into the leg, of course. Now, we, we talked about ellipses and the glasses and the view of where you're sitting, of how that top is going to uh, look to you. And then we, we're, we're learning the shapes and how to sh shadow and and put those different things in, in different objects. Now, you can draw anything. If you do a triangle, a circle, a rectangle, a square, an oval, or a diamond shape, you can draw anything that you, you will see. But I want you to, we're going to learn how to use our imagination rather than using a still life like over here that I've got set up with the wine bottle and the grapes and the tape and the uh, the glass holding the grapes and I want to tell you now I don't know if the cameraman can get this or not but these are what's left of some of my grapes that I've already eaten let me get that on the camera where is it at okay that also makes a beautiful design whichever way you want to, to do either the grape itself or what's left. Now, we know that the grapes sit on these vines, nice, pretty green or, or purple grapes or black grapes, but I saved that because sometimes it does make a good design. I just want to just say you take nothing and make something out of it. So let's get rid of those. So we're... We're going to, we were going to do apples last time, but we're not going to do apples anymore. This is the degree of the shadowing and everything, the darkest dark, your medium dark, and then medium, medium light, and then light. You can do all this with the pressure of your pencil. And I had you to, to, write, to make all these ovals and these circles and uh, shade them, and I hope you've done that into your sketchbook. And a composition, I made this here, and I made what, what was going to be starting of the bottle here, 
Let me make this darker. That will be the bottom. And then the grapes were going to come down this way. And I didn't, didn't make the uh, dish. So that's basically everybody says stick people or whatever. Well, you got to start with some sticks somewhere. And that line doesn't have to be perfect. There's nothing perfect in the art world. And I don't want to see it perfect. I want to see it like you've drawn. Now, I put the grapes out. We're not going to draw that still life. We're going to draw grapes, period. So that's why I brought up the ribs of the grapes and then the grapes themselves. So we're going to, we're going to do, we're going to make a curve on our paper about like that. And we're going to do a bottle, but not that bottle. But we're going to get our grapes in there. And remember I said, we're going to start from the end grape, the one that's always at the end. So we're going to make a circle or a little oval or whatever. We're going to start there. And I, on your papers, I want you to do it kind of light. On here, I'm trying to show you that I'll have to do it a little bit darker because we have to start building our grapevine. So <laughs> already, to me, that looks like a mouse that I'm drawing here. So I just want to get the inner rib going on these grapes. See, they're not always round. Some of them are half moons or whatever, but I'm going to make a round one here and maybe a round one up here, but I'm going to put another one underneath there because when we shadow that, that'll look like it's underneath. Now I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to add some more grapes. And you can see it developing. And I'm going slow just so that you can follow me as we draw this. Doesn't look like much right now, but a bunch of little half circles. But when we get done with it, it's going to be beautiful. And see, you can do this. You can take your sketch pad anywhere that you may travel. And you might have a few minutes. Or in a doctor's office, you might have a few minutes. Already, it's looking like grapes. And you might want to sit there and draw with your sketch pad and your pencil. And that's easy to carry. Just a little bag will do and put your purse in there. Turn off your phone. Doctors don't like you to have the phone on when they're in the office. So this gives you something to do. And you don't have to pick up their magazines. You've got something that you're working on here. And that's great. As you can see, I'm going up and around making my grape cluster. I'm not going to worry about the, the vine where we've chopped it off. Little, little grape underneath there and then a bigger one here. And we just kind of imagine, close your eyes and imagine looking at grapes. Now, I know you all have bought grapes before and you know how they cluster. So we want our cluster to look really good. So that's about it for right now for those building the grapes. But you can see that it's going up the vine like this. Now, this top grape I've put on top of everything, so it's going to be kind of light. So now I'm going to color it in. And I also told you to get a stump. And I don't have one in my hand, but it's over here in my, my little thing. So now I'm just going in and text, texturing my grape and figuring out where the darkest part of the grape is. So this grape, is un, this grape here is underneath this grape. So I also want to go to the way that the, the, the roundness of the grape that's here on top. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make this very dark. 
because he's underneath this top one. So I'm going to kind of fizzle it down. I don't know if fizzle is a word for it, but I'm just going to kind of blend it up. Over here, it's going to be dark also. And so here we go. We're going to go up. We're going to lighten up the pressure on our hand, on our, 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 our pencil. This one here is going to be dark around here. So it's, it doesn't matter if it's all scratchy looking like that. In a minute, we're going to change it. Now this into the V is going to be dark also. So we're going to go up and we're going to kind of really get down in that corner and pull it up. And as we go up, we're going to lighten up. Here, it's going to be dark. I think you're getting the idea. And you can do this just with a number two pencil instead of the charcoal that I'm using. This here is going to be dark. And so that's what you have to do is go through these grapes and figure out where your shadows are and how the grape is laying. This one down here is underneath two sides of a grape. And we're going to fix him up real good. So he's shadowed. Here the whole part of this grape is going to be shadowed. This is the fun part. You've got to figure out. And also, I forgot to tell you, where is the light coming from? So I, was, I told you to make an arrow. So we're going to make it where the light's coming from up, up on top of these grapes. So that's where the light, that's the way I started drawing them. So down here is an interesting shape. See, you create something out of nothing. And here it's going to be here. Here. Now I left an opening here and that will be really dark because it'll be the the heart the harsh more harsh darkness of, of the grape part. But it's not really a grape. It's just here's another one that's gonna be really interesting. So you create all these little interesting spots. And you go to the contour of the grape, of course. This takes a little bit of time, and I don't want to waste all my time. Let me get my, my stump over here out of my little box. I'm sorry. I should have had it in my hand. We'll use a big stump. And as you can see, I've already got the, the graphic on my hands, and that's why you should have a paper towel laying on your flat piece of uh, drawing paper. So now I'm going to start shading this out, or blending, what we call blending. Now remember my light's coming from on top, so this, this grape, the farthest grape here is going to be lightest because the light's going to go over all these other grapes and hit that light spot. Here, I'm going to blend this down. See how easy this is? It's just nothing hard, I know. A couple people I've talked to about this show, they are so scared. Mary, are you paying attention? I hope so. This is really easy. Don't be scared of it. You can do it. Anybody can do it. If you just follow the light, the mediums, and the darks. I have brought also with me, and I didn't have it last time we got together, some artists like to, after they get through with the graphic, is to spray it with some fixative. I don't particularly like to use fixative because I'm going to put whatever I do in a drawing, I'm going to put it in a frame with a glass. So that glass will hold this uh, graphite in place. So you can see the grapes coming together as grapes. I hope I did enough that you can see what's going on.
And after you get enough graphite on this low, oh, we missed one there. I'm going to go back and pick up some graphite. I'm going to go down here because we're going to shadow that one too. Here's another round one. And this relaxes you. I mean, if your housework is dull, so take a half an hour and sit down with your coffee or your tea and just enjoy imagining what you can draw. Now remember, with all those shapes I showed you, you can draw anything. It's just how do you connect them? And that's what I'm here for. We're going to be connecting all the dots, as they say. But we're not using dots. We don't need dots. You're learning how to draw as we go here. So just keep, keep working on it. Now, if you don't have a stump, there's always this. And you can always use your finger on these. But you're going to get an awful dirty finger. Now, I kind of went out, out over the... Now, remember when we were in school, the teacher said, don't color outside the lines. Well, you can in some instances, and it will look good. But other instances, I don't really want that boo-boo on my grape. Now, grapes have many different shapes, so I'm just going to kind of go in there, lighten up the tops of these, and kind of draw with my eraser. And I don't want that line there, so I'll kind of take care of that. Get my pencil. And kind of do that again. So it's okay to make mistakes. None of us are perfect. And it takes practice to do this. Now, I may work on these grapes forever. You know, well, not forever but for some time because I want to get all the darks and stuff in there and the lights and get on to, to the rest of the painting. Not painting, but uh, drawing. I'm so used to painting these days. I just finished two golf courses and it, whew, I painted, I painted and it's, but I love doing this on my spare time. I'll sit down in front of the TV. I'm going to watch, like, say, the Olympics or whatever. And uh, I'll draw the, the people that are the, the people competing in the Olympics at their different sports. And that's always been a fun thing because you have to do it fast, which is okay. Someday you'll get really fast, too. So we're going to go all the way up here, but I'm going to put the uh, stem. Let's do the stem, too, because I want you to be able to do that. So there's the stem. And I like to make, I like to look at the top of the stem. So I'm going to go down into there. Now, this side of the stem is going to be light, where this part of the stem is going to be dark. So I'm going to go through that. I'm trying to do this so that you get the whole idea in a half an hour. It's got to be fast. But I want you to work on this as homework to finish up your grapes. So I just want you to be calm. Don't worry about it. Everybody, you'll, you can cover up mistakes easy. So if this side is dark and I'm looking at this stem this way, this part of the cut stem is going to be dark because the light's going over here and it's hitting down here. So this part will be light. Now I'm going to take my stump and blend all that in. 
This is the fun part. I like, I like blending. I like making wood. I like things to, to look like wood. Now these grapes also have leaves. And that's everybody's problem is leaves. So you don't just attach the end of your leaf to your stalk here or to this vine. It's got to have a little growth coming out of it. Because I showed you on, on the, uh, the vine there, they're all coming out from the center part. And all these, these things in here, this line here, we'll be covering that up. But we want stems here. Wherever you decide, as you are the artist, you're the one that's caring. So therefore, we want you to uh, do the leaves right also. So let's go and the grape leaf kind of has a dip in it there at the top of them. So, and then he's gonna come down here and then they kind of go out and ruffle out like so on the vine. And that's just squiggling. You can do that. You can squiggle with the best of them, I know you can. So you just swiggle any old way and you bring that vine down here. So we have this to connect to that. Well, let's put the vines of the leaves in there. And again, we're gonna do the leaf just like we're going to do the grape. So we're going to start in the center, and we're kind of lightly, because I don't want the leaf as dark as the rest of it. Yes, I heard somebody back there. The Grapes of Wrath, we all seen that movie. Grapes are very important. They're, they're mentioned a lot in the Bible. Grapes make wine, which we all like wine. <laughs> and we're just kind of going to scriggle some of the shadows in there along that vine and the other vines. See, I know you can scriggle. It's, it's so much fun. Let it, let it loose. Be loose. And just enjoy what you're doing. And you can have some going out there. Continue it on. Okay. Now ask yourself, now does that look like a grape leaf or what? Of course it does, because you did it. And we're going to take our little blender and blend some of him. Oh, this is too much fun. And where if I if I if I mess up in this leaf where the I don't want any shadowing, I got my trusty eraser. That works really well. So this is a light side, so this is gonna be very light. This is an underneath side, so this is gonna be kind of dark because we want that leaf to be bend a little bit. So we're gonna bend him. Now, in the perfect world, if I had this all ready to go and everything, I would make my back, back here, dark where this is light. And I would make this light in here so that it shows up this dark. So then you have something really pretty. Okay, we're, we're gonna give you the, the grapes and I don't know how much more time I got here. Could somebody tell me? Okay, we just see how I can color over that and it doesn't move very much. Thank you. We're going to do these grapes. Now, you're going to work on your grapes for this, this week. And when I come back, or I want you to email me at Jana Columbus 4 at gmail.com
and that should be good. So I want you to tell me how you like, how you're learning, or if you have any questions, I want you to send them to me on that email address. And we'll address those whenever we get back together again. Okay, you're going to work on all this. Now, with grapes and wine and everything, we're going to have to have a bottle somewhere. So, uh, let's say, well, first of all, we got to have a horizon here somewhere. So I'm going to draw a line across here and across here. And we're going to draw a bottle back behind these grapes. Okay? So now, what I do is I put a top on him and I got a bottom on him. So I do one side at a time. I don't worry, see, we're still doing with, with the, the lines. So now I come down off of that and come down and just about midway, I'm gonna curve out and make me a bottle. That's half of a bottle. So we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing, but we're going to leave the leaves and all this in front. And since this is, this is bowing out, we have to bow out in here too. So we won't see the other side of this bottle. This, the grapes are holding up the, the, or the bottle is holding up the grapes. I got that kind of backwards, but hard to think up here. So we got that line there. So I'm going to take that line out with my eraser so I don't get confused. And believe me, I can get confused. I'm just going to do a light erasing job here. Now, thinking of shadows there again, if I've got the grapes standing against this bottle and the light's coming from here, down through here, then these grapes against this bottle is going to be in shadow. So there again, now we're going to go down here and we're going to put those grapes in because it's going to be very dark down here against this bottle. And I'm going to texture it out. So I'm just going to scrape it like that. And I'm going to go where the roundness of the grapes is a little bit. Let's put this one in there too, just for fun. Now, as an artist, you have the prerogative of doing what you want on this canvas. So therefore, you make it up yourself as you go along. So that's going to be dark along there. Now I need my stump. We're going to take the stump. And we're going to shadow that and blend it all in and put these grapes in front of this bottle. And that's how you do it. And I'm sure your bottle and your grapes are going to look great next week when we get together again. And I hope you have certainly learned something out of this session because I've had fun teaching it to you. So let me hear from you through the week and let me answer your questions, what you, whatever you might, whatever. And don't think any question is silly because it's not. I know I've asked what I've thought a bunch of silly questions at times. And they always say, oh, there's no silly question. But to me, I feel like it's silly. But anyway, that's about all the time that we have for this week. And please think about our studio and what fun you're going to have with us here. And donate to our, our Bella Vista Community TV because we really need it badly, as always, because we're all volunteers here. We don't get paid. But we do good things with the money that you send. And it keeps us coming to your home so that you don't have to go out. So come back and visit us again next week. So bye for now. It's been a lot of fun.